March 5th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, again with Fukushima, Japan. Let's uh, start with earthchangesscott.net. Rush to get rid of radioactive water at Japanese nuclear plant. 11,500 tons of radioactive water will be dumped into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Tokyo, the dumping of tons of radioactive water from a waste treatment facility at the crippled Fukushima nuclear facility into the ocean has started. Tokyo Electric Power Company's officials said on Monday. The additional dumping of water from reactors number five and six will begin without it will begin within hours, they said. Um, I'm not going to read the whole story. So basically, they're going to pump out the water from um, three, four, five, and six and dump it into the water, into the ocean, so they can drain the the more radioactive water out of the number two um, pump house into a storage tank because it's way more radioactive than the water that's already in three, four, five, and six. And um, this, this isn't making any sense at all. But uh, they are saying that this may not be the only time they have to do this. And uh, let's just go over to Disaster Alert Network real quick and I can uh, keep going with this. TEPCO moles wrapping reactors in sheeting as airborne radiation soars. Now this is off the UB Alert. Local media reports on Monday that government has ordered the Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO, the owner of the stricken Fukushima nuclear power plant, to study additional emergency measures to contain the continued leak of radiation into the air, sea, and ground. One technique suggested by the central government's is for TEPCO to wrap the four reactors in massive sheets. Government sources said that the sheeting will be held in place by skeletal structures that will frame the containment buildings. The plan will cost Japan another 950 million US dollars and it has been met with skepticism from experts who claim that such a move will only have limited effects in terms of preventing further radiation leaks Nuclear experts said that the radiation level inside the sheeting will soar, making it even more difficult for workers to carry out with restoration efforts at the crippled facility. They're trying to put a patch on this damn thing. What are they doing? Okay, um, back over to uh, EarthChangesScott.net. Uh, the USGS seismic monitors for orbit. Oregon's Newberry Volcano. Uh, they're going to drop a quarter of a million dollars, putting eight more monitoring stations around that volcano. And uh, where's the other story? Thailand flood toll reaches 40. The death toll from heavy flooding in southern Thailand has risen to 40. Government and the government said Sunday, with thousands of people forced to live in temporary shelters, uh, crop damage the works. That's about all they have new today. Extinction protocol. Landslides continue in California. Landslide closes roads near uh, Requa, California. A crew still working to clear a landslide that closed Requa Road over the weekend. Del Norte County Road Superintendent Jeff Daniels said Monday that he hoped to have it at least one lane open by sometime tonight or Tuesday. And to get power restored to, restored to stranded residents, but the slide continued to be a problem for some time. And it looks like uh, almost 100 people were affected. Global, global seismographs show heightened activity and plate stress uh, in around the plate around uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, New Zealand, Chile. Got a story out of Africa, 60 die in flooding in Nambia. Uh, Windhoek, 
Record floods have hit central and northern Nambia, killing more than 60 people in the last week and causing millions of dollars in damage to roads, bridges, and crops, officials said on Monday. Over 20,000 people have been displaced. Uh, the government disaster chief uh, said that helicopters, boats, and four-wheel drive vehicles have been deployed to evacuate communities and distribute emergency relief. We're still awaiting reports on damages. And it's a sparsely uh, populated African country. And that's about all they have today. Now the Disaster Alert Network, uh, they got, got an avalanche in the Aspen Highlands in Colorado. Apparently one guy got killed. Tropical Depression uh, number two. Um, and that looks like it's in the Pacific, uh, close to the South China Sea. Um, tornado reports and the severe weather through the um, central United States today. I've seen reports from Louisiana up through Kentucky. Uh, there were a few fatalities and a lot, a lot of wind and lightning. Uh, the weather channel's all over it, of course. We had a tornado in Bangladesh. Kills 12, over 150 people injured. Uh, it was in the northern region of Bangladesh. Um, severe rains, crop damage, the works. They have the Thailand flood story. Uh, they found 10 bodies from that Chinese coal mine gas outburst uh, that happened a couple of days ago, a couple, three days ago. In China, the, the methane explosion in the mine. Got a landslide in Peru. Five people, including a child, were killed and three others were reported missing in a mudslide in the southeastern region of Cusco. Uh, days of heavy rain, torrential rain, and, and again, they're reporting crop damage, flooding roads, the works. And that, well, nope, I got one more story out of New Zealand. Uh, Rapehu's crater lake heating up volcanologists are reporting um, Mount Rapehu's crater lake is heating up but there are no signs of an eruption is imminent uh, GNS scientist volcanologist said today high water temperatures currently about 38 degrees Celsius were being uh, experienced in the lake now I'm going to skip down to the, the meat of the, right at the end of this article. During the current period of high lake temperatures, there have also been changes in lake chemistry, increases in carbon dioxide emissions, and minor increase in seismic activity beneath the volcano. These observations, particularly the seismic activity, have not been observed during previous periods of high lake temperature, um, said one of the leading uh, volcanologists. They indicated that Rapihu was experiencing a period of unrest above that which was typical. While there are currently no indications an, erush, an eruption is, is imminent, uh, it remains an active volcano and further eruptions may occur with little or no warning, she said. So we've got another volcano warming up in New Zealand. Um, that's about all I have today. Um, again, if I missed anything, please leave your comments below. I would love to see some video footage of the severe thunderstorm rolling through the United States. I know I have a lot of, of the bulk of my subscribers are American. And um, post your, attach your videos. Till I see you again, thanks everybody. Enjoy while you can.